to my phone. Right now, yeah. No, Brandon them Brandon them didn't know yet. Jazzy telling them they didn't know. You could tell because they saying you lying. They ain't acting. You could tell. Like no, that's eerie. They want. They ain't good yeah. enough to act. Wait, what you call it? It ain't no point. They, they just make this shit sound so juicy. Oh, that's civil, though. That's civil. Yeah. I know See, about that's that. civil. Yeah. See, they ain't know nothing about her going to jail. Hey, spicy. You heard about that? She knew, though. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's what what you got. That's what China. Yeah. Jazzy knew. They didn't believe it, but Jazzy knew. Yeah, that's silver though. She got to go to court. That's silver. Uh-huh. But um, uh, you hear them? They like hell. No, like it's fake. It's fake. If it was real, Brandon them went dumb it down and said it ain't. She did a terrible. They had a whole celebration. That damn girl. She did. Yes, she did. Yes, the fuck she did. So Jesse said that something just got inserted, as in something was added. Now, if she would, now they were saying this er, earlier. You want me home? Okay. What's up with you at the top? Okay, so did you pay attention to when she said she did a terroristic threat against that girl? That must have been about the phone call charge. How did she know that? How did she know anything about it? Listen, we're gonna, we gonna get into it. This I'm sorry, I thought you was done. I apologize. You could come back. I thought you was done. Okay. I can go now. This is what I this is what I get out of and from what I've been hearing today. So Jazzy said that something got inserted, as in something in addition to what she was going to court for. So if she went to court this morning for China 504 and if she had a warrant in another state because they were saying that she was on hold that could explain the reason for the no bond if she has a warrant in another state and she's on hold waiting for those people to respond. So her being in jail really may not have nothing to do with the case that she went there for. She was picked up on a warrant is what I gathered from that. And you tell me if I'm wrong. True, but Somebody inside knew that she had that warrant and she was going to get arrested for that warrant at that court date. Whenever they catch her, she going to jail. And if she go to court, she got to go to jail. Like if you in a business, you all the way in a business. But Jazzy Cherry said, I've been holding on to this tea for a long time because I was waiting for it to really Basically, I don't know exactly how she said it, but she was waiting for it to, like, I don't know if it's true. Like, once I know it's true, I don't know if, I don't know what often to happen. Like, I was there. Then she said, but I just found out that bitch is finna go down. I just found out. She got play by play everything that's happening. Now. Oh, I'm gonna shut up. Listen. China had a group chat, right? But like, let her tell it, eight or nine people where she was trying to get videos and shit so she can do her big one on Ashley. So she had reached out to eight or nine people to get videos. So them the only people that could have told, according to her, is them people that she was asking for videos. But that don't make sense. This shit anyway. 
All this shit I'm saying, you go hear it anyway. You just getting it firsthand from the pastor. It was eight or nine people in the chat where she was trying to find videos so she can make her charges stick. People have asked, Aries asked me for videos on Ebb and all type of shit. The videos have never made a motherfucker say such and such gonna be going to jail. They're trying to get you off the app or trying to get you to leave them alone. That's it. So even if it was eight or nine people that you had helping you with videos, when they get through helping with the videos, it ain't nothing they can go tell nobody about her going to jail because they don't know. Because videos don't put people in jail. And if they did, then Jazzy Cherry wouldn't have said, my people told me that such and such, but I ain't believe I had to wait till late. Once I knew the ball really was rolling, now I'm spilling the beans. Because I just, after she said it, she never knew because she said, I just found out from such and such a source or whatever she said that she going to jail. She just found out. That's somebody keeping in touch with her, cuz. And I know how that shit be when you're in that situation. And you tell a motherfucker something go happen, and you want to prove it, you go tell them, yeah, now watch tomorrow. I just found out the bitch got a warrant and la, 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 and they go gag that bitch tomorrow. Watch. I promise you they is. Because you know everything going on with the motherfucker. I ain't saying China did it, but I'm saying she did it. Like, she told somebody that told somebody. If she didn't tell some, nobody knew that Ashley had court or none of that. All that eight or nine people sending you videos just know that you're pursuing some shit. That's it. Unless you had that meeting again and say the videos work, then she going to have a warrant or la, 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 then cool. But it's no, it's a no. But I don't know who all you fuck with. I know you fuck with me, and you told me when the shit was going to happen. You ain't tell me she was getting arrested or none of that, but you told me when you was pressing the charges, and you told me when they uh, gave her paperwork or whatever, gave her the paperwork at her graduation. That's the last I heard of any of that shit. So somebody else knew more than I knew. It it only can come from it only can start from you. So when you say you don't know who could have did it, them eight or nine people was not looking that bitch up trying to see if she ever got a case, if she got a warrant. They weren't doing that, cuz. It wasn't. It wasn't. I ain't saying you told them, but you told somebody that one solid, cuz. It's a fact. Hey. Yeah. So, um, Jazzy Cherry said in um, Ebony Live that she was detained, her husband, and she claimed to have 30 securities with her. Now, I don't know why she would need 30 security, but that's what she said. Now, who had 30 security? Jazzy Cherry claimed that's what Jazzy Cherry said in Ebony Live today. She didn't get in the box today, she was just in that. Sleeping. She said she banged and couldn't, couldn't up to that or couldn't jump. You know, a whole lot. I mean, that bitch ain't never had no 30 people security. She won with 30. Uh, yeah, that 30 part of life for sure. Right. But Court now, so that big made enough. me feel like she wasn't a, it's possible that she wasn't a welcomed guest. Because why would she be detained? Just something to think about. I don't know. Can y'all hear me? Yeah. Oh. It, it was a chat. I was in that chat, and somebody she did need. She wanted one video of China. I forgot who sent it to her because it was like nine of us in there when she made the little threats. I forgot what she says. What China says? Some shit about if I found out some 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 ended with I'm gonna come to New Orleans and knock that bitch head off or some shit. She needed that to turn in. I guess that day she went to court and actually had want before she got served. Hmm. That could be true, but when New Orleans serve your papers out in the public, they don't arrest you for 
That shit you got going on. They probably ain't even run. I don't know. I don't know. Let me not speak on that because I don't know. I love when she get through, I'm gonna let all y'all look. So let me explain to you what it was. What it was is I told you a while back, and you can't say I didn't. I told you a while back that she had a warrant out. Remember when I told you she was pressing charges? You got to think about it. She never came to New Orleans. When she came to court, I let them know that she had a warrant out. That's why they was able to get her. They picked her up on the old warrant, but they couldn't pick her up until she got here. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm saying. So it's okay. not like it. So I had a chat. I let everybody in that chat know that she had a warrant. Okay. And Felicia could tell you that. That's why she said right. it. I told everybody that. This wasn't no warrant that she just got when she got here. That warrant was from May. Okay. So now it's making sense. No. -uh. You nope. could have told them that she had a warrant, but how would they know that she got served her court date and she going to jail for her warrant? You knew she what was going to jail. About? What you you told you, that again? You told your group, the people in the group, mm -hmm. that she already got a warrant and I'm finna, I need videos for whatever you doing. Cool. Mm -hmm. So we know Ashley got a warrant. Cool. Jazzy Cherry knew right. Ashley had a warrant when she was going to court mm -hmm. and she was going to jail. But you knew it out the gate from the time you filed it. So you listen, knew listen, she was going listen, to jail. Wait. Yes. Listen to what I'm telling you. I told everybody in this chat, everybody, I said she has a warrant. I said when she comes down here to go to court, if Felicia come back up for a second, please. I told, and, and they going to, uh, she can attest to this. I could call somebody else that was in there. I told everybody in that chat, let me finish, Pete, that she had a warrant. I said, when she comes down here, if she comes down here for court, they are going to arrest her, is what I said. Now, the first thing is, go ahead. So your group, the group that you made for you to get videos, you kept that group and you gave them details every time the yes. case was updated yes i told them that yes. yes so some so the people in the group knew that she had court yes. the next on that day and they knew yes. that she was going to jail on that day but jazzy cherry is the one that leaked the tea out of nine people jazzy wasn't in my group exactly that's what i'm saying they chose jazzy cherry to give your tea to Every single time you told them something, they went and ran and told Jazzy Cherry. Somebody so in your did. group. You got to be able to single out who fuck with Jazzy Cherry out your eight or because we know by Felicia didn't do it. No, sure. she definitely don't. Okay, so now we only got seven or eight people to. Like, it just don't make, like, no matter how we do it, it ain't go, mm -hmm. it ain't going to make sense unless Jazzy, because after it's, oh, shit. I just don't get it. I I don't see like for you to have that group and tell me confidentially that didn't make sense. Ain't no secret safe with eight or nine people, and then you but telling was, me I mean, like, go ahead. You said I'm telling you what? You telling me the shit, but I ain't like I ain't going live like this. Some confidential. When I shit. told you that, that was in the beginning when it first happened. But now that it's crunch time, I had been to court with three, four times trying to get her served. Huh, and I man. knew I was going. Who's mad? No, ask me why I'm mad again. I'll kick your stupid ass out. I ain't mad. Oh. Go ahead. What you were saying? You did. You told me in the beginning mm -hmm. that uh, you was trying to put charges on her. Yeah, you told now me wait. you put charges If you on remember, me. I did. And if you remember, if, if anybody remember, she had came live and said that you came back and listen to what she said. She said that you was the one that came back and put her on game, that she was even being served. She said that you told her that. That's cool, but I ain't never talked to that bitch. She won't say that in front of me. That's a fact. You First off, you're not going to tell me to just be honest because I said what I said. Who? The comments? The comments. I'm just saying oh. she did say that. Uh, I'm, I, this is the first time I heard her saying that, but she couldn't say that because I did. don't talk to her about shit. 
I ain't saying she didn't, but that would be very weird for her to say I did it because she just called she me did. yesterday. She called me yesterday on Facebook. I'm gonna find a clip. No, a clip. No, it's a clip. It's a clip. No, it's a clip of her saying that, and I'm gonna find it. Ashley said she did what? Yes, she did. She did say that on uh. Mm. And she said she got a receipt. She's going to find it. It's going to be hard because you can't Google China says, Pastor said. <laughs> I ain't told that bitch nothing. That's a fun fact. I'm not saying she didn't say that because that's what she do, but I ain't never said no shit like that. That's cool. I mean, if she did, fuck it. She said <laughs> I ain't. No damn well, I ain't thought that bitch shit. Ain't no fucking way y'all know how I am. Like Ashley, like I ain't it's silver long spoon. You feel me? Ashley don't got nothing on me at all. Every time she read me, it be shit that y'all got off the app. Ain't nothing per. I ain't never told her nothing personal ever, ever. No shade to her, but never. I wouldn't even do it. I wouldn't think about it. She didn't get her locked up intentionally because she, she, that was a warrant that got her locked up. And if it was civil, I just would have missed court too. This ain't nothing but money. Fuck court. If I know I got a warrant, I got to go to jail for it. That is some fucked up shit. So she sitting in New Orleans waiting on, she got to wait on Texas to come with her. Jazzy Terry knew too much. She said she going to jail and she ain't going to be able to get out. That's too much tea to know on third party side. That's how I'd be thinking if I was in that situation. Right. We need Jazzy Cherry to clear that shit up. But she can't because if she already lying, she gonna keep lying. But hold on. Who in China group chat work at a jail? Because y'all said, Jazzy said, she has somebody that work at the jail that tell her. Hey, the only thing I had to say is this. It's very quick and I waited a long time and thank you. But, um, Pastor, um, here's the thing. This internet now changed a lot of street shit. That's all I got to say. And a lot of people on the internet do a lot of things that they won't do on code with street shit. That's all I got to say. What up, Nappy? Hey, <laughs> hey, Keith. Thank you for bringing me up. I I just want to say this right quick. First of all, you're absolutely correct. Jazzy Cherry knew too much, but the thing that keeps sticking out for me as a red flag about what Jazzy Cherry was saying on, up there when she's on uh, Ab Live is the fact that she had the green light now to spill the tea on what was going on with uh, Ashley. Who gave her the green light? <laughs> and then why are we not Focusing on the fact that she was given that green light by China five or uh, three or four, not because three or four. We we can't well we can't determine who works for jail. I don't believe she has an insider who works it. That's a convenient lie. That's a lie that you just think off off of off the rip, just because you you trying to think of something right quick to say. The so people in I, the jail can't know she got a warrant because she don't even. She's not supposed to be in that jail. She's right, supposed to it's be. Not making sense. <laughs> like, 
So, <laughs> yeah, right. Everything you said makes sense, perfect sense. But everything, the, the analogy that people are using does not make sense. So what does make sense is that she was given the green light to finally say, remember, she said she'd been holding this information for a while. Yeah, and this has been ongoing for a while. Now she finally got the green light to speak, to spill the tea, but she can't reveal her inside source. The only person that would have this amount of details is the person that's actually bringing the charges against Ashley. That's it. Yeah, too that's much. Cool. I don't care. Because I don't got China. I don't. I don't got China going in that chat. I, I I got China gagging everybody. I don't got her going in the chat with randoms because think about it. I asked randoms to send me tea, and the people that had tea, I made a chat for them. These ain't even people she fuck with. I don't I'm going to leave you with this, P. I'm going to say this, and then I'm going to drop down. I believe that Jazzy was used as a person to to spill the tea uh, to, whether it was a long time ago or just on the, when she said it that same day, so that Jazzy could go up there and let Brandon and, and Eb expose the tea. So, in other words, somebody told Jazzy for the purposes of Jazzy getting up there and making sure that Brandon and Ev had the opportunity to spill the tea to everybody first. That's all yep. I'm saying about it. Hello, Pastor. Hello, Church. What's going on? How you doing? Listen, everybody know that Jazzy hates the fuck out of China Red. Okay. No disrespect to China 504. She hates her. It's also common in real life and on this app that two enemies or two people who really don't get along or don't vibe with each other or don't kick it with each other will come together to take their worst enemy down. I believe that China might have told Jazzy but did not know that Jazzy would go tell the ops. She knew too much. Jazzy yeah. wouldn't do that though. Jazzy wouldn't be that open with going out doing that shit. If she was no, she ain't supposed to tell nobody. Somebody, t yeah. I'm gonna tell you something, but don't tell nobody. But you gotta think about it too. Ashley has been roasting Jazzy back and forth too. Right, so and, but but it's better to gag this bitch and then have some tea after than to go and tell everybody. You went and told China Five Hundred Four Ops. Like, that's some shit you got to have permission to do. Like, it ain't that's no true. way to say I ain't going to say nothing. And even if she found out from somebody that was in the chat, they would have told her, don't say nothing because I ain't supposed to tell you this. She wouldn't get that's on facts. live and do it. That's facts. I just feel like there was a lot of behind the scenes talking for two women who could not stand the other woman. And, I, and, you know, and I'm going to say this to you, China. You did your big one, but if you do one, you must do what? Okay, Pastor, I've been watching you. This China Black. They don't want to put me on the board with them for some reason. I came from Periscope. I don't know if you remember me, but every time I try to get on bingo, these hoes block me out. They don't want me to come to bingo for some reason. But I want you to try to get me in if I can join your family. I can go up and get Girl, these. get down. We talking about the Hold family. on, big mama. Hold on, big mama. I don't give a fuck. I want to join your family before I can go against these hoes and tear their ass down before we can get real money on the app. Because these hoes oh. don't want to let me come back to the app for nothing. Nothing in the Oh, world. you got banned? Yeah, I got banned. That's what I'm telling you. I want to oh, come okay. back. So that's what I'm going to let. That's what All I right. came up to let you know. All right. I followed you. I'll holler at you. Okay, Pastor. So me, I don't know if you remember when you and Jazzy got into it, when she was saying y'all shit, whatever happened back in the day, I wasn't on Bigo, but I was cool with Jazzy. Jazzy had no tea on knowing shit about China. I'm telling you this for a fact. She had no tea. She been saying this back when y'all first had the first meeting greet in Atlanta that um, Ashley was going to go to jail. She don't have no tea. 
Jazzy is part of a motherfucking Keys production, and this is how I know. Anytime some shit down went down with Keys, I said this is a Keys Productions, and she said, "Oh no, I know Keys. They look legit, they look legit. Anybody that know Keys, I ain't even been on the app long enough, maybe a year. That we know when it's a motherfucking Keys production. Jazzy is lying. She don't know shit. China five hundred four. Nobody in that group told her motherfucking shit. When she pulled up on China, I feel like that was a motherfucking storyline because." Jazzy's quote unquote husband, when I met them in real life two times, if he was really about that life, it would have never been none of that. This shit is fake, it's phony. She guessing she been saying this shit before the shit went down. It's all false. It's a keys motherfucking production and Jazzy motherfucking lying. She don't know shit about no tea. She don't know shit about Ashley going to jail, none of that. I know her in real life. If she what? was some shit that going down, sense, I mean I'm, I'm, I'm in a all big mama. Chats. Big mama, that don't make sense. It's If she don't know shit, she definitely predicted China going to jail on the day she was going to jail. So if she don't know shit, she definitely got a lucky guess, and I need that bitch for the lottery. It's going to be $2 billion when they pull them numbers. She knew something. I ain't saying you might be right about where she got her info from, but she definitely knew what was going on. She definitely ain't going to go in Brandon them live and say this shit go happen and not know it for sure. Because you know Eb and Brandon going to be on this bitch here. They weren't believing it. That one hurt, bitch. That's Aries with the warrant. No, this fake. Who gave you this information? It's fake. You can tell how Eb them is. And if there was, if it was a Keys production, Eb them wouldn't be going live about this. They thought it was fake, and now they making it their top story. They didn't know. Like, they didn't know. Eb a dumb bitch. She could never pull off acting that motherfucking good. She tried it with the falling asleep shit. She, ain't, she can't do that. And then, Pastor, it's about who you know in the police department. New Orleans is a small town. I got family in the police department. So, John, you did your big one, but but, but that's a messy ass shit, Pastor. But I ain't seen I gonna, Who gonna know somebody in the New Orleans police department that's from Houston? Nobody. Or from Florida. She's from Florida. Who she got in New Orleans? A place she's never been. This bitch ain't never been in New Orleans. I see got people that... Y'all just, y'all just, y'all some biased motherfuckers, like, period. Y'all biased. <laughs> Go ahead. Hey, Pastor. I just wanted to let you know that I sent you the video on your IG of Ashley basically admitting last night on K-Red's Live that she was going to court this morning. So it could have been anybody with the court information. How did they know she was going to jail? It didn't go say that on there. And ain't gonna say she going no, to jail tomorrow. No, it didn't say she was going to jail, but she did admit that she was going to court. Jazzy had, Terry like, said you going to court and, and you going to jail tomorrow. You going to court and well, I don't know about the jail, jail court, but and I do you know that she admitted that she was going to court. And you go sit for a minute. Listen to the whole story, beautiful. You're going to court, jail, and you gonna have to sit for a minute. knew everything like she put the um i do want to say that i saw jazzy cherry going from live to live everybody was in their live today charlie from charlie to jackie to brandy everybody was waiting on the fucking court she was going from live to live telling them no zoom court no zoom court in the fucking comments and what nobody believed in her them fools was just steady sitting there like we finna wait we're gonna wait out we finna see jazzy knew something because a bitch was up on it and when everybody was behind it them motherfuckers was seeing oh we got the call we got this we got that jazzy kept saying it she kept saying it. she was going from live to live saying it nobody would listen the bitch was spreading the motherfucking message I don't know how she knew it. Jazzy chair, bring your big feet ass out the motherfucking window, bitch. You done been on, I, um, been on all motherfucking day, bitch. Come clear this shit up, huh? Why do it matter who told Jazzy? Your dumb ass ain't been here. Shut up.
Hey, Pete, Jet, first and foremost, I just want to be clear in saying this. We are definitely talking about how did Jazzy know Ashley would be locked up and was not would not be able to get out anytime soon. That That's it. That's all. That piece. That part. Now, but the thing of it is, is that um, Jazzy is not going to come forward and confess who her insider is. And we know why that is. I mean, pretty much, P, if you listen to what you're saying, I want you to really listen to what you're saying. You've already figured it out. I don't got no solid evidence. I can't take this to the DA and get a warrant. <laughs> right, but pretty much you've already figured it out. But you have. You have already figured this out. You keep answering your own questions. You do. You keep you always do that. But the only thing that can change your mind is somebody say something that makes sense. Like you feel me? Somebody got to say something. Like we all got intuition about shit. Sometimes you ever got mad at somebody for something they was doing, and then you told them that it was pissing you off, and then they told you what they was doing and how they looked at it, and you like, oh, okay, I understand that now. I won't think of it like that no more. You know what I'm saying? You have to have an understanding. Then you under okay. Perfect example. Yo, yo, dude that don't live with you every time he come over your house, he cut his phone off or cut his ringer off and turn the phone upside down so you can't see the light. And you always notice it. So you like, this nigga got to be doing something, right? And then you just get to the point where you just tell him, like, what do you be doing? Why you always got your phone upside down? Who else you mess with? And he tell you, like, I turn my phone upside down and off because I don't be wanting to get disturbed when I get to your house. It's already late. And you, I want to give you my time. I ain't on working. Ain't nobody important go call. So I have it off, but I cut it on from now on and your attitude will go away and you'll be like, oh, OK, I look at it different. Like I, my fault. Now he got right, his phone on all the time. So we don't know if we hear the other side, if we can hear the other side, it could make sense. Yeah, you're well, trying, we don't you're know. Waiting that, you're waiting on that perspective that's going to make sense. And the only way it's going to make sense is if somebody comes up and tells the truth. There's only two people that know the truth. The person that gave uh, Jazzy Red the green light to spill the tea and Jazzy Red herself. And like I said nobody earlier. Her, nobody gave her the green light because you got to think about it. The whole time this shit been going on, none of them eight or nine people done leaked this information. All of a sudden, when it's really finna go down, your inside source leaked the information that nobody even supposed to know nothing about and you know anything about it and you ain't in none of that shit and you ain't giving up your source. It just, it just too much coincidental shit going on for me to just throw this shit out and just say it's a, it was the luck of the draw. No, bro. No. Have you thought about 2P? And this is my last question to you. Why would Jazzy go to Eb? Couldn't she have just filled this on her own? Why go to Brandon and Eb of all people to kind of give them... And it don't make sense. She couldn't have. It don't because you got to think them eight or nine people was in confidentiality the whole time. They're not going to give... I'm sure some other people knew if that's the case. Like Felicia didn't know, because she ain't tell me. She would have said, you know, Ashley finna go to jail. She ain't know, because that wasn't part of the chat. But whoever did know, wouldn't go tell nobody, because they know that whoever told them said, don't. if we ain't supposed to say nothing, then how we go tell somebody and let them say something? So somebody told Jazzy and told Jazzy to let the shit out. They ain't tell Jazzy, promise you ain't go tell nobody, because she went telling everybody. Which is what I said earlier. They used Jazzy as a pawn to let the tea out and they wanted her to go to Eb and Brandon so that it could be done on their platform. Who else would want it to be done on Eb and Brandon's platform? Who hates Ashley that much that they would want Brandon and Eb to have the satisfaction of spilling that kind of tea? It's only one person to keep coming to my mind. I don't know about nobody else. That's all I got to say, Pete. Thank you. I don't know. The Jazzy Cherry hater just as equal as China. So if she found out, she'll go tell them because it's content. That don't mean the motherfucker sent them. I ain't going to say that she told them to go tell Brandon them, but she went and did it because they tried to tear the app up. It's about content. 
Nobody went viral off that story either. All the views was womp, womp, womp. Let Lisa up. She needs your attention. We ain't on that tonight. We on some real shit. What up, Lisa? Lisa. Hello. Hello. I just, I just got to make this one point. Nobody knew Ashley was even going to court. Like, all day long, she was trying to get a Zoom call. She didn't even know she was going to court. Like, nobody knew Ashley was in New Orleans until this morning. But Jazzy Cherry knew yesterday that Ashley was going to court. I just wanted to make that point. What up, P? What up? Um, so who took the warrant out on Ashley in Texas? Do we know? Or was it Jazzy when they had the altercation? Is that how she know Ashley was going to jail? Was she the one who had her up? Ashley got an extortion charge. Did she try to extort Jazzy Cherry? Okay, is the green light that everybody keeps talking about, what if it's not a person? The person that told her about the court date, the green light was that the court date was approaching. She said that in the video. She said, I was waiting for it to dwindle down, meaning time was approaching. She had the court date. So somebody gave her the court date. And the only person that could give her the court date will be China 504. Because the police or the courts may have given China the court date. Five or four, not Was China at the court date? Yeah, she was, because she said she told him she had a warrant in another state. But Pastor, Precious knew about it too, because when her and Precious got into it, Precious told her she was going to court soon. I told you, everybody that don't like Ashley knew about it. This ain't got nothing to do with that yeah. group chat. Everybody that hates Real Ashley talk. knew about. I bet you Precious found out. After Ashley found brought it back up. Ash, Precious Ashley found brought out it up. after. Precious found out about goddamn Ashley after her and Ashley fell the fuck out. If Precious would have still been cool with Ashley, it'd have been dead. But that's the reason why Precious wasn't reading and doing all that one shit because she already knew. But nobody knew the court date and going to jail. Nobody didn't know that. It's, nobody knew all those fine print as details. I mean, I'm, you know, karma doing this thing, you know. This come with all that shit that she be doing. I'm just saying the way it got done. I'm just I'm just questioning how the shit got done. I don't got no opinion on what, because she where God wanted her to be. That's a fact. That's where God had her to be on this day in November. Like, period. It was already wrote. It was already written, whatever. Jazzy was detained. At, I, who knows? That could be a storyline. Fuck they detain her for what they detain you for? What did you do to make them say, come here, put your hands up? Like what? At court. You know, damn well, Jazzy Terry ain't go to no courthouse to fight. She wasn't going to jail in New Orleans. Hey, brother, what's up? What's up with it? Um, I understand what everybody is saying, but the whole thing is... Is, that's funny as fuck is how did they know she was going to jail? It's one thing to know she going to court, but how the fuck you gonna know somebody is going to jail? That's hard to fucking find out unless someone that 
the, the person that knew that she was going to jail obviously told somebody else and then that shit didn't really post to get out and it got out like it did. So the whole point is how the fuck did these people know she was going to jail? Was that shit crazy? That's what okay, we All right. Hi, um, <clears throat> Keith. I just want to know, as many of everybody that hates the cops and the courts and the system, y'all sure do call them motherfuckers real quick to get people locked up over stupid shit. Like, just fight it out. Why y'all gotta call the cops and shit? That's just weird. Like, it's stupid. Just fight her and get it over with. Y'all so quick to call the fucking cops, pussies. Energy, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's crazy how money fuck shit up. All these motherfuckers just sit together on the book. Even roasting this shit. They got over here, they trying to real live bury your ass over some beans. And they really be thinking if they get rid of somebody that it's gonna get them some money. Bitch, the church ain't gonna give y'all without the pastor, bitch. If I ain't here no more, it's not gonna make motherfuckers fuck with y'all. Bitch, motherfuckers probably be gone for real. Everybody gonna leave because they ain't gonna have shit to talk about. They struggling right now because I ain't been doing shit, ain't they? They is struggling. They trying to find anybody to make the content. Brandon had Kanye West and everything. <laughs> is it, you motherfuckers is struggling. Leave Lisa, Lisa alone. She cool. I'm gonna get off, y'all. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, I got the real life. I said, Jazzy hey. have been catching a lot of flights. And she said it out of her own mouth that she filed some sort of charges on China herself. So, you know, how that go? So, look, whoever knew about the court date in New Orleans also had to know about the warrants in um, Texas. That's how they knew that she was going, going to jail. Even if China was able to get to Orleans, they knew that she wasn't going to be able to get back once they found out about that warrant in Texas. And that's also how they knew she was going to be sitting because it was going to be time for the people in Texas to come and get her from New Orleans. She's not right. The motherfucker press charges today in Miami. And they get on here and say, yo, I know pastor got a charge in Miami. He got to go to court tomorrow. Y'all go do what? Y'all go look up Miami and find my court date. It's not going to make you look up motherfucking Georgia and see if I got a warrant there and if I'm going to go to jail for it. When you go to look up if I got court tomorrow, it's going to say I got court. It's not going to say I got court and I got a warrant out of a different state. All this shit was coached. The motherfucker knew everything that was going on. They say they got court in Florida. He just got court in Florida. But if you the motherfucker that motherfucking know what's going on and all the way into it, because the, the police go tell you, oh, this person also has a warrant and such and such. We're going to arrest them on that. Now, I'm telling you how this person bullying me and harassing me and shit. Don't worry about it. They also have a warrant and they're going to get picked up. That warrant, they have to pick her up. So she'll have to sit for a couple of days just for them to even come get her and transport her back. Because that charge, she has to see a judge for. 
Now when I come through, it ain't going to be no art. Y'all going to be running around talking about pastor got a court date in Florida. And everybody going to know that. That one motherfucker going to know, yeah, he got a warrant in Florida and he wanted in Georgia and he going to jail for it. Tomorrow he got to see the judge. He's going to jail tomorrow. When he go to Florida, he getting going to jail. You have to wait for it. Georgia to come get him. La, la, la. That's what's going to happen. Ain't none of us looking up uh, doing a 50. Ain't none of us running a 50 on nobody because they got a warrant. Motherfucker, you got a warrant in Vegas. Run a 50 on him and see if he got a warrant in all the states. Ain't nobody doing that, cuz. China didn't have to tell her. China told somebody, though. Or told somebody to look it up. I bet it's true. Look, like, I I can prove it's true. Look this up. There was some coaching going on. That wasn't no freestyling that shit. What up, E-Squad? What's up, copperhead bitch? What's up, you Abraham Lincoln wig wearing ass bitch? Bitch, I still don't fuck with your black Agula monster looking ass bitch. You bad dookie looking ass bitch. Prostate cleaning mechanism looking ass bitch. For real, yeah. Like, bitch. Girl, like. You want that old air back, that bitch. I hit three million every motherfucking month, bitch. Like, I'm kind of like somebody on here. Y'all bitches almost went broke competing with me on God. They are trying to hit three million every month only because I was doing They see I ain't the host no more. They said, fuck that three million. Brandon hitting 300Ks and shit. Air taking off 12 days a month so she could say, I ain't even do all my days this month, y'all. Like, I ain't even been on here like that, y'all. Went from I probably won't hit my tier this month to bitch, don't even mention it. That three million so motherfucking far away, bitch. I bet you won't show us your CA history from Brandon to the New York checks. You 1800 a month making ass, bitch. <laughs> you ain't making shit, bitch. If you was from Georgia, you wouldn't be making shit, bitch. <laughs> oh, God. An hour and a half outside of Atlanta, you wouldn't be making shit, bitch. Like you talking about. <laughs> don't worry about it. Everybody don't got geographical. Huh? Watching me for a bitch. This ain't about you. Get your own tea. I don't know. Keep it shut the fuck up. First. Bitch. Mm. I don't be mad at it. I know how, like, it be having shit going on. You know, for real. I grew up selling dope and shit like that. So I know how frustrating it be when you got to get your whole check up to the dope man on the first. And like, motherfuckers do be mad. She's, she got a reason to feel how she feel, right? Hmm. Give her a break. Is Eb a boss or a boss boss? A what? Yeah, it wouldn't be a boss if her name was spelled B-O-S-S. -S. That bitch is... Hey, Pastor. Huh? I, I agree. I, I do think that China 504 was uh, speaking a little too much. And, but I also believe she knows exactly who she spoke to. I don't think she gave it all to that. Somebody inbox. know. Somebody she knows. She knows who it is. I'm but, a, I'm a, I'm a, I must agree with that. She told at least one person. She ain't hold that yeah, to and she know She knows who that person is. But I don't think that she knew anything about her being picked up i think jazzy cherry hated ashley that much that she called 50 fucking thousand goddamn times when she heard that she had a warrant 
to make sure that they was going to pick her up. And China then 504 said, she said excuse me, China 504 said she went up there to tell them about mm-hmm. Ashley's warrant so she could be arrested. So Jazzy didn't call shit 50 times because China went to court to tell Facts. them. Facts. Okay, so I just want to say this. I think Jazzy did, I mean, not Jazzy, China did all this shit because Ashley was so close to proving that she does not have cancer. But that's so when a person that's gets false. exposed, that's, 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 that's what they'll do. That's I seen her shit. I seen her my chart and everything, and she really did have cancer. Or do. She did chemo. She, this shit came back. I really seen it. And she really been raped before. I stand on it. And she told me I could have the receipts to show them. And I told her, don't prove shit to y'all. When we was in New Orleans, she showed me the shit. She she had cancer, beat it, and it came back. Y'all got to lay off the health reads because y'all don't know shit about nothing unless a motherfucker tell y'all. Y'all so quick to real life act like y'all motherfucker took somebody to the doctor or got they code to look up their chart or whatever else. Y'all don't know nothing but what somebody tell y'all. And the people that tell y'all that don't be knowing shit, y'all be running with it. Every time somebody say what a motherfucker did, God, or something, you don't know what the fuck nobody got, bitch. You come in here and you swear to God that a, a nigga got something or a bitch got something, you got it. Because you fucked them, bitch. The only way you know is if you fucked them because they ain't tell you nothing. And then you got it too. You will get back in the queue, whoever that was. This is nice, though. I like how everybody... I could be wrong, too. I'm just standing on what I believe, so you can, too. Don't think that I'm like, oh, he hung up on me. Yeah, I did, because that's my opinion. But I could be wrong, because I don't know, bitch. You could be right, and I apologize if you is. Tommy K, you know the truth. Tommy you only got one M in it. Harry, since I went and visited Chicago, Fat Wig be running in here and shit. Y'all been noticing that? You want to take me to IHOP like Benji or something? Grand Slam, breakfast, eating ass. Right, fax, ID number. If Eb and Brandon was in the same boat, they'd have got served already. At least served. They ain't got served or nothing. Unless somebody, unless it's just a one at a time shit. I don't know. But one thing for sure and two things for certain. All of them, don't nobody talk about China no more. Fuck you then. Eat I hop anyway. Huh? Right, stank thing. What did I just say before I say it? What I say it? If that makes sense. Right after, so they don't, they was all dragging the fuck out of her, and then suddenly they just stopped. Now, what the fuck did Ashley do that was worse than them? Talk your shit. That's what the fuck I've been wanting to know is what did Ashley do worse than Eb and Brandon? Because Eb and Brandon drugged the fuck out of her. They three old 
They drove the fuck out of her health but free. Ashley was, I remember when she did it, she kept telling Ashley, like, that's when China was on some depressed shit. And she was going through so much shit. She was like going through everything. Then she was like, this bitch, I'm finna do my big one on this bitch. She just will not leave me alone. Cause they was, I think, I'm not sure, but I want to say they was cordial. They was cool for a minute before they fell out. I'm not, I don't remember for sure, but. I just feel like this, and this is just my own personal but opinion. But you talk to China. To beat my ass about it. China who? I feel like China Red knows something that China 504 is trying to shut her the fuck up on. She knows something. I and heard that. I heard that. On saying that if you keep fucking with me, I'm just going to throw Dale under the bus and I'm going to throw your ass under the bus if you keep fucking with me. And I think that's where that extortion shit came from. Is that China probably told her, bitch, you gonna do this or you gonna leave me the fuck alone or I'm telling. And that that's why China 504 wants to shut her the fuck up. What make that extortion? Leave me alone or because I'm gonna tell your they bitch. Might have had a, it might have been a conversation off of Beagle that China Red called her phone and was telling her, if you keep on, I'm might've gonna been, do XYZ. Been, and she been. recorded her. That's not she recorded her probably. That's not extortion. She told her to pay her and she had shut up. That's extortion. But me saying, if you talk about me, I'm going to talk about yeah, you. Yeah, I don't know extortion. what it was. Yeah, I don't yeah, know what it was. But you but got some good actually know something. Okay. For hey, sure. bye. Hello. Hey, P, I just came up here to say um, you're absolutely right about the, uh, about, about um, other people's health. Let this be an example for people that's always doing these health frees. But I wanted to know, I wanted to ask you, I know you can't, you're really smart as it re relates to the law. And I just want to, at least I, that's my opinion of you. And I wanted to ask you, do you think after all this is over that China could possibly go after Ashley too for uh, like pain and suffering and things of that nature? And if so, would you, this is a two part question. So that the first one is could China, you think China could go after Ashley like in a civil lawsuit for pain and suffering, especially since she really does have the C word. I won't even say that cause I wouldn't wish that on nobody. But then also this question is for you. Would you start going after people who have drugged you and accused you of the R word and try to get compensated for that? Because that is damaging. That is like. I ain't got no job. I don't give a fuck. You ain't damaging shit. You can't fuck up my income. How long they been saying that? I got a pocket full of money. <laughs> I swear to God. Do a good <laughs> they can say whatever that. they want. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. It don't bother me. But, uh, well, the first part. Uh, oh yeah. So the, uh, China got a civil suit though. Ashley in jail for criminal shit, but she went to court for civil shit. In addition to the criminal charges, so she got a civil suit pending. In addition to these criminal charges, that's crazy. And I just wanted to say this: the other lady was right. That was above me saying that Eb and Brandon always hated China. And now they're Team China. Yeah, they were congratulating her, telling her she was doing her big one. So somewhere, somewhere along the line, they What's have new? up. What's new, though? Brandon and Eb embrace everybody that they talk about that's an op. That come over here and fuck with somebody else and then get locked up. Like, they'll fuck with their ops about them doing a big one on another one of their ops. They're going to be dragging her again. They going to drag her again. A pan China? For doing her big one, she even offered her. You're trying to get money. back in good graces with China for bigo purposes, so they can be doing them trades and shit again. That's it. Brandon don't fuck with nobody. He's the biggest snake, and he probably said it for entertainment purposes only. Same nigga said, "I got ten thousand dollars if you could show me where I said." Then you show him, say, "Oh no, 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 no." Right. Just Sounds me. about right. Yeah. yeah I just that question. Thank you. Hey, P, can you hear me? Huh. It's a loose, loose situation. What is a loose, loose? What's a loose, loose situation? Can you hear me, P? Yeah. Okay, so um, I may be wrong, but China, I mean, not China, but Ashley, she's been saying for a long time that she had information about um, 504 trying to set you up, you know, to get the K-word or whatever, and she's been saying that, so I feel like 
you just should be careful dealing with China because I do feel like she is behind that shooting or whatever. And I feel like the shit was about to come out. I felt like she told Ashley a lot of information because she felt like they were so close. But then I hey, guess what? If they did do that, Ashley ain't going to be in jail because she going to tell on them. She going to throw all her loyalty away about that. If she got some receipts of them saying they was going to do that type shit and they look it up and my house really got, they all going to be locked up. So shit. I really if they feel do like that, they better go lay low. And I feel like 504, see where you and Ashley is not so cool, but y'all got some type of, you know, honestly loyalty together. So I feel like oh, right mean, there. Oh, I know how Ashley is. Ashley fucked up mentally, so that's why I don't pay her attention. Yeah, I can't that hate is nobody true right that there. can't think properly. I let her do her, and I just stay the fuck away. If we want to roast, we roast, but she don't get no tea. I'm no just going to say this. I'm from Toledo, and I feel like 504 is definitely the police. She needs to be watched. She's sneaky, and it's just something about her. Damn. She's a nice person, but she is definitely is something iffy about her. Because she's just so damn laid back and just cool about some of the shit that be going on. And it's like, damn. Oh, you just, I don't know. It's weird. We trying to figure out what happened. We know for sure they was goddamn poking the bear. They wouldn't leave exactly. the bear alone. They was having marathons about her. So she did her big one, how she is supposed to do it according to law-abiding citizens. She wasn't supposed to go trying to beat up nobody. We ain't even tripping them. We don't give a fuck about that. Nobody said I'm about just an Ashley fan. Actually, I'm a nobody fan. She called me in real life. China don't be on none of that shit. Yeah, that's what it seems like. At least like around me, I ain't seen it. Those con people, you gotta watch because that's how they gotta portray it. I was finna get on it. I was finna, I was finna do it. I seen y'all. I seen y'all. I was finna get on it. I gotta walk into it. I can't just drop them because I'm like, hello? Hello? Is she froze? Or? She is. Hello? We give her a second to come back. We don't say that no more. Too many people hip to it. We say you froze. We can't hear her. No, we can't hear her. No. Froze. She froze. You know what be the funniest about that? Motherfuckers really be thinking they froze. You be like, is she froze? Like, yeah, she froze. Like, yeah, she froze. She froze. Like, damn. She... Hello? Hello? Can you hear me now? Hello? Can y'all hear her? I'll give her a minute to see if her volume come back. <laughs> You're a good actor. <laughs> oh, God. We funny as fuck. Hmm. What time is it? Oh, I got four minutes in my avant voice. I'm out of here. Tommy K. Go. Yeah, Tommy going live. Her and Carrie. Oh my God. Hello. Hello. So, um. Daddy. Uh, go ahead. Okay. Um. So, like, people, you know, are you know coming at China saying she's the police. Uh. She did what she felt like she needed to do. She said what Ashley was doing to her affected her, and she went about it the right way. And I don't think she's wrong for that. We all know that Ashley is someone who doesn't believe in consequences and doesn't learn from her mistakes. So I do believe she will get right back out doing the same old goddamn shit until somebody smacks her really hard with her. We going out to eat this weekend, honey? Can I can make it down there for a dinner? I promise you. You gotta go to the other spot. My boy Kara was talking about. Huh? I think we covered all the bases better than anybody else did for us to be the last show for today. Bitch. I was out fishing. They was texting me like, Ashley, you do. I'm not finna stop fishing. Hey, these bitches biting. She should have fought Ashley like she fought Reggie Kilp. That's what I said. I mean, I ain't mad. I don't give a fuck about what happened. That's not my business. I'm talking about we were sitting here to discussing the Jazzy Cherry part. This had nothing to do with the charges and all that shit. 
Mm. She where she's supposed to be. Could be safe. She could be out doing anything and get in trouble. Like the real trouble. Get hurt or something. So that's cool. Did you catch some? Hell yeah. I got 55 of them bitches. I'm crap. Fifty-five, and missed a couple. Motherfuckers just breaking my line. In. I'm back tomorrow, bitch. <laughs> if I can't get no food stamps, bitch, I'ma turn into a hunter, bitch. I can't pay these prices. You hear me? Y'all go look up. I ain't gonna eat nothing but motherfucking fish. Promise you. Go to the grocery store and just get rice, bitch. Rice, butter, and sugar, bitch. Pescatarian, yeah, I knew, I ain't want to fuck that word up, I needed to see it. You see what? I'm finna get out of here. I'm gonna see this IG. God damn all these messages. I ain't gonna know who I'm talking to. Okay. Press this G and inbox for me to hear. Ashley is using her daughter's last name. Look over to you. I can't look up all that way. What am I looking for? Whoever told me check IG, goddamn. No shit. China told Jazzy, Jazzy had a woman who was going to jail. This is what Jazzy said on live. Then China probably told her she fucked up. Then Jazzy fixed it on her live. China told Petty the bill too. See. Started at one hour and twenty six minutes. One hour and twenty six minutes. Yeah, she gonna buy everybody's baby. She likes a level twelve and eleven dollar fake face and a little face and a fat bitch. Respectfully, K Red, my name is Exotic, and bitch, I'm four from six. I don't know what we supposed to listen to like with you. Thank 
occurred. Whatever, I don't care what the fuck y'all got to say. I just know what the fuck I'm doing with my life. I'm moving the fuck on. I don't like this fucking drama no more. I may not even get on Bego no more, y'all. Y'all may not see me no more after the day. Yeah, after the tent, K Red won't be on anymore. What's that supposed to mean? Thank you. What's that supposed to mean? No, I just said I'm going to teach you on Beyond the Mind. Like what? I don't know what this is about. <laughs> no, she's not coming on after the fifth number. I swear. Three. You got to go to court in the morning? Hell yeah, I'm going to court in the morning. At nine. Why are you? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You go to court for Bego? On some yeah. Oh shit. Bego is. Yeah, and I'm, I'm going to come out of court talking shit. This an app. Why are motherfuckers going to court for an app? Yo. I'm, I'm going to go in and I'm going to tell them, I'm going to say, give me the goddamn restraining order because I'm sick of this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say, bitch, give me the fuck. I swear to God, I'm going to go to court. I'm going to say, you honor, you know what? Give me the goddamn restraining order because I'm sick of this bitch. You give me a restraining order, it makes me safe. Because this all going to keep taking sickness, this faking shit, faking cops, faking everything. Give me the goddamn restraining order because that's going to rest assured me and her that I won't be nowhere near this bitch because I don't want to go near this bitch. The fuck? I don't much like New Orleans like this. <laughs> oh, and you got to get that. The same all the real New Orleans people stayed in Houston and went to Atlanta for the food ain't good with all these motherfucking fake people down there. All these white folks that bought property down there. Real New Orleans people down here in Texas, any fucking way. So, with that being said, I swear to God, I'm gonna get on that goddamn Zoom. I'm gonna say, Your Honor, grant her her goddamn restraining order. Because I want to stay the fuck away from her. And I know he's gonna be like, Ma'am, what you mean? I'm gonna say, Look, this woman lies. She get on my nerves. She fake illnesses. Give me my restraining order. Petty double B going and recording. I don't give a fuck. She just got real with that hoe in there. I don't wish bad on anyone. But that bitch said she would want my baby here. No, no. She's talking to my oldest daughter. I told you all this shit months ago. I gave her a little warning since yesterday. I ain't trying to persuade nobody. But if y'all think she getting out tomorrow, y'all got something else coming. Move in silence. But I do have a small forewarning sometimes. Because somebody told her. She's on my panty fan because Ashley's scared to come to court. And she lied and said there was a Zoom court. Y'all always believe in that lying ass hoe. That's what Jazzy Cherry posted. Thank you. 
What you have? I've seen phone something. So who? We need to. Ain't nobody find an affidavit for Ashley's case. Like they, why she was, like they did put why she was a uh, have a warrant. Like the what that shit called? The report. Not yet. No, the report, not the discovery. The report is public. If it was Jazzy Cherry's daughter, she would tell us it was Jazzy Cherry's daughter. It's free information, and her daughter did it. She would have went live. That bitch loved being. I'm done trying to figure it out. Who gives a fuck? It's going to be a long guy's weekend. That motherfucker locked up in a whole different state. She don't know nobody. It's just boring. Hey, if Ashley got any of y'all tea, you motherfuckers better pray or move. She ain't going to jail, bitch. Mm-mm. She got to be there for Bubba. Got Bubba. Shyris, the motherfucker finna go get out of school. Shyris finna do nursing. Yeah, Paul. My mama see. Got to be there for my mama. I take care of my mama. Damn, they did her. Oh, she ain't do nothing. They just arrested her for a warrant. But when she found out, she no bond. Her son not disabled. What state she locked up in? Property, state property. Yes. <laughs> and uh, huh? Good looking, y'all on the toes and fields. I got three hours before I gotta be fishing. <laughs> Good night, love y'all.